my brain is not working. Oh my God. I don't know anything about anything. It's so hot in my room, but I need the natural lighting and I can't have a fan on because we don't need that noise in the background, honey. Anyways, let's just, I'm over it. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, for real. What's up, you guys? It is Chris here. Um, I am back on my YouTube channel because, you know what? I figured, why not just do everything? <laughs> Can't do anything on Instagram right now, so I figured, you know, let's come to YouTube for a little bit. See how y'all are doing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Today, I thought that I would just, you know, do a little q and A. I I went on Instagram <laughs> and did the one thing I could do and uh, posted on my story and said, hey, I'm gonna do a QA. and a Ask me anything. And that you did. <laughs> so we are going to dive into those questions today head first and I'm gonna answer all of your burning questions. Jumping right in. Why are you blocked from Insta? Okay, let's talk about it. I don't know. <laughs> I woke up one morning and uh, Instagram was like, you can't do anything, so have fun with nothing. And uh, I have been shadow banned or whatever you call it since. So that's that on that. It's really unfortunate. I, I guess I just have to wait it out. If anybody knows anything about Instagram, if anybody has a contact, Next question. Favorite Disney movie? Um, my favorite Disney movie is The Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> First of all, because it's hilarious, and if you haven't seen it, I don't know entirely what you're doing with your life, but you need to find it. My favorite Pixar movie is The Incredibles. So I would say, like, those two take the top tier because, like, Disney and Pixar are separate, you know? But if I had to pick a favorite Disney movie, it would be The Emperor's New Groove because, um, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen slash will ever see because it's timeless and it's so funny. I'm gonna go watch it <laughs> after this because <laughs> I love it so much. Next question. Favorite Ariana Grande song of all time? <sighs> oh my god. Whoa. That's really hard because does she have a bad one? <laughs> um, uh, okay, let me think about this introspectively. <laughs> um, oh my God, that's so hard. Okay, I, I have a couple. I can't pick one. I love God is a Woman so much. Like that song, anytime it comes on, I like, my soul flies away. My soul leaves my, sp my body and it just like <laughs> flies somewhere else. I love that song so much. It's so beautiful. It's so unique, so different. I love Into You so much. That song still laps and every time it comes on, I get crunk. I also love the class. I love The Way. I love The Way. Um, I love Problem, another classic. I honestly, that's the hardest question I've ever answered because <laughs> she is one of the only artists that I can just like listen to every single album all the way through and enjoy it all. So, um, uh, yeah, that's really hard. But I think, I think I love Seven Rings too. No, nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. So there you go. That's my answer. Next question. How has your quarantine been and have you picked up any new hobbies? A good question. My quarantine's been okay. I, uh, the first round was a lot. The first, cause you know, we're in round two in LA. Things are kind of opening-ish everywhere else. Some things are shutting down everywhere else. We're all kind of in different places. It's kind of weird, but LA where I live is shutting down again. So I, you know, have just been staying home and with the people that I've been with for the last, how long have we been in doing this? Five months? It was sad because there was like a little moment of false hope for the, like the past couple of weeks. And uh, then all of a sudden it was like, JK. It's been okay. I've been trying to, yeah, like, I've been trying to get into some new things. I've started jump roping, which is kind of fun. I just wanted like something, like a different way to exercise. And I used to um, jump rope a lot in, you know, school and stuff, you know, whatever. I'm not like competitively or anything, but just as like I did it as a hobby in school and it was fun and I forgot about it. And then I was like, huh, exercise. And um, it, it is, <laughs> definitely is a full body workout. So I would recommend it if you're looking for like something new and something different to work out, like 
I would suggest jump roping. It's fun and uh, it's really, it really is like some good cardio. So I've been doing that and that's been really fun. You know, besides like doing TikTok and content creating, that's, I mean, that's a whole new side of my life that I'm diving into too. So yeah, I mean, I'm just, yeah, we're just dabbling. We're dabbling in a little bit of everything, trying to get the toes wet, you know what I mean? So when this is all over, there are some new skills developed. <laughs> but you know what? Being real, totally too. There are some days where I don't do anything <laughs> because there's just some days that I like can't, you know? Like it's been rough, you know, it's been rough for everybody, but my mental health hasn't been the best lately. There are days where I don't want to do anything and that's okay. I feel like sometimes we put pressure on ourselves to like figure something to, out to do and like have to be doing something in our houses. And we, that's not the case. Like you honestly, whatever you feel like you wanna do in this time, just do it. There's nobody stopping you. We're all on the same page. We're all going through it. If there's days where you wanna lay in bed all day, lay in bed all day, girl. Like it's your life. It's your quarantine. We're all, it's your mental space. Like whatever you gotta do to figure it out, you do. So yeah, there are days where I'm not super productive and there are days where I feel like I want to take over the world and I get so many things done. It's just like, it's a, it's just this, you know? So, um, don't be too hard on yourself if you're like, I'm not finding any new hobbies and I'm, you know, whatever. Just exist. We're all existing and whatever your heart wants to do, let it go there. Don't put too much pressure on yourself because that won't help your mental health. Just allow yourself to be open and, and feel. So. Yeah, I've been, I've been okay. My quarantine has been okay. Moving on, next question. Give me the scoop on your background in dance. Okay, a very good question. If you're here from TikTok, <laughs> most likely uh, that is the only thing you know me from. However, I have been professionally dancing in Los Angeles for about four years now. I danced my whole life. I, f I think I took my first hip hop class when I was eight so I've been dancing for a long time and I moved out here to dance social media and TikTok kind of just fell into my lap you know during quarantine the background in dance is that I've been doing it my whole life moved out here to do it I booked a couple of jobs and then I kind of transitioned into choreography and teaching and I was doing that up until quarantine <laughs> you know uh, I had just recently developed my own dance company kind of thing and I was gonna take that, eventually move it into a full length show at some point. So whether or not that's still on the cards when this is all over, I'm not sure, but um, but yeah, that, that was the track. And uh, then kind of social media just kind of came in and was like, hey, just kidding. <laughs> You're gonna do this for a second. But yeah, I love having a platform that I can kind of do it all on. I love that I can, you know, do whatever I want. I can post whatever I want. I can dance, I can sing, I can act, I can be funny. I can do whatever I want on this platform and that's so cool. So i um, super blessed to be where I am. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the background. We're still dancing. We haven't stopped, but because of quarantine, all the studios and stuff are closed and all the jobs that I was booking and all the studio, like all the rehearsal spaces and all the production studios are closed. So, you know, none of us are working. So I'm super thankful to have social media to kind of, you know, fall back on and continue the, continue the craft, you know? But yeah, that's the background. All right, a good segue into the next question, which is, did you ever think you'd blow up on TikTok? I love watching your videos. I think they are funny. Oh, that's first of all, very sweet. Thank you so much for your support. And second of all, no, <laughs> I did not think that that was going to happen. It was, Crazy. I ask anybody in my life, I was shook. I mean, I'm still shook. It's been two months since everything happened and I'm still like trying to wrap my head around everything. But it, uh, my whole world changed. Like my literal entire universe just like shifted upside down. It was wild. It was crazy. I've never seen, not even just like on from my end, but even like people around me, I've never seen virality like that ever in my life. So it, I'm super thankful, I'm super blessed. And uh, you know, uh, honestly, anything can happen when you manifest it. <laughs> I literally remember sitting in my living room having a conversation with one of my friends being like, I just want to make a difference. I want the ability to say the words I wanna say. I want the ability to let the world see my art and me. And, um, and then about two weeks later, uh, 
everything happened, everything popped off. So no, I didn't think that it would happen, um, but I that has been something that I have been wanting for a long time. So it was unexpected in the timing, but it was very welcomed in my life. So um, yeah, that's that's really that's really it. So the answer to the question is no, I didn't I didn't think it would happen but it has been something that I have been working for for quite a long time. So um, thank you to all of you for you know following and subscribing and doing everything that you're doing. Um, it means the world and I'm so thankful that I have the platform that I have to be able to talk to you and um, yeah, just express myself however I want. So I appreciate you all so much. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Somebody said, how are you really? You know, being fully transparent, <laughs> it looks really nice from the outside. I try to, you know, post every day and keep my content very happy and uplifting and joyful. But you know what? Sometimes behind the scenes, it's not all, it's not all like sunshine and rainbows. Um, it hasn't been the best few months of my life. We're, we're all human. We all go through things. And I don't want to sit here behind the camera being like, I'm fantastic because I'm not. And uh, there are really bad days and there are good days. There have been really high highs and there have been really low lows. I'm trying to use this time, you know, to figure some things out that because of scheduling and being too busy or whatever in the past, I haven't really had time to meditate on and focus on and figure out. So um, I'm looking at it as a gift. I'm trying to look at it as a gift. Sometimes it's hard um, to see it that way, but I, you know, it it's difficult sometimes and I don't, and I, I say that to tell you if you're feeling the same way that you're not alone. And um, I know that sometimes it feels like that and we're all going through it. Like I said earlier, we're all going through it. We're all on our own path. And um, just because I post things that are very happy and very uplifting doesn't mean that what's happening behind the camera isn't all sunshine and rainbows as well. But I do that to spread joy to you guys. And in doing that, I, it makes me joyful and happy. So. Um, it's not that I'm trying to be like fake or that I'm trying to like put on a front. It's that bringing you guys joy brings me joy. So I, that's why I do what I do and that's why everything is so joyful on my page because I don't want to spread negativity and, in, and spreading positivity brings me light and love. So yeah, but behind the camera sometimes it's not all that pretty and that's okay. We're all going through it and I want you to know that you're not alone. Um, I'm going through it as well and it's like hard for me to talk about a little because I don't talk about my like personal life very much but yes you're not alone and we're all going through it we all have we all have stuff that we need to work on and we all have things going on in our lives but um, but yeah I'm I have been better but I also am so blessed to be where I am in my life so there's like I said lots of high highs and lots of low lows but I'm figuring it out, but thank you so much for asking. That really is very sweet and means the world to me, so. All right, moving on, next question. Somebody asked, what is your zodiac sign? The answer is, I am a Virgo. Interestingly enough though, the my birth date is August 22nd, so it is the, it's a Leo date. It's like the very last date of Leo, technically, but because I was born late in the evening on the West Coast, the, my technical sun sign is a Virgo. So it's really, it's interesting. My chart is filled with a lot of crazy craziness, but technically I am a Virgo. And if you know me, you know that that's true. <laughs> Last two questions. First one is, how are you so confident? A good question, let's discuss. I used to not be. <laughs> um, and sometimes I don't feel like I am. Um, I feel like there are times in my life where I've been a lot more confident than I am now, just being, again, fully transparent. But how, I, how I get over that and the way to kind of not feel that way anymore is to fake it. And I know that that sounds kind of weird, um, but when you start to fake confidence and you start to like play pretend that you're confident, it turns into real confidence eventually. It just becomes part of your like regular demeanor. And um, there's, a, there's a big difference between confidence and arrogance, but just practicing even just pretending to be confident. It just kind of turns into real confidence. And I feel like that's how 
I get over that. Everybody's different, but that's always the advice I give to people. When you just pretend and you play a character, even if you're not feeling it, it will start to feel real eventually. Oh, I lied. There are two more questions after this. Okay, so this second to last question is, I know you perform, choreograph, and started videography, but what is your favorite? Okay, that's true. I dance, I choreograph, and I, I'm just really, sorry, I'm just like itching my neck. It's so hot in my room. I also am wearing this sweater, but you know what? I have to support my girl Brit. I have to wear my, my Britney sweatshirt because hashtag free Britney. Anyways, bunny trail to Venus. Where was I going with that? Okay. Reel it in. Yes, I dance. Yes, I choreograph. Yes, I do videography. If I had to pick a favorite, I love choreographing. I also love videography. Performing, I love as well. Don't get me wrong. I love the creative side of things. I love being behind the scenes. I love putting my vision on people. So in that sense, I would say probably choreography and videography are my favorites. Not that I don't love performing, but I just, you know, I guess, I mean, I love all three but I think if I had to pick, I guess probably choreography. Um, but that's a toughie. It's a tough question. I don't like picking between my favorite things to do. <laughs> that's hard. Last question. Somebody asked Chad or Troy. First of all, what kind of question and what world would you make me pick between Chad Danforth and Troy Bolton? I guess, I don't know. They're both so amazing. Why would you make me pick that? They're both incredible. And the boys are back is fire. So both. What team? Wildcat. Oh my gosh. That is the end of the questions, guys. Thank you for submitting your questions. That was really fun. I really enjoyed reading all of them. If you guys like this little Q&A moment, um, I will keep doing it. I thought it was very fun and I love answering questions that you guys have. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you want more. I have a lot of content in my head <laughs> that I want to put on my YouTube eventually. Um, it's a lot of quarantine content. I just have to like bring myself around <laughs> like doing it. And sometimes, you know, there are days where that's not as easy. So I'm getting there, we're working on it, but there is a lot of stuff coming. I'm gonna continue to post on TikTok regularly. If you're from there, thank you so much for being an all around <laughs> follower and subscriber, I really appreciate it. If you don't know uh, that I have a TikTok and you're just on my YouTube solely, go follow my TikTok, go follow my Instagram. I'm currently banned, but as soon as that's over, I'll be back to posting stuff on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you for all of your love. It is um, not unnoticed and very appreciated. I love you guys so much. And I guess that's all I have to say for the day. So until next time, remember to spread love like it's butter. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah, bye.